first of all introduce to you in the blue corner from France, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Jeffrey Riviere. Well, Jeffrey Riviere makes his way to the ring, 81 kilos. I hope we've got that one right, and he's fighting Liam. Old enemy of yours from yesteryear, Nampon PK Muay Thai Jim. What's Nampon's strength, Liam? Um, he's got a very good push kick, very good left kick. He's very tall and rangy. He can fight in either southpaw or orthodox stance. Um, good clinching. He's a very good all-round fighter. He's WMC champion at lightweight. Ratchet Amner, number one at lightweight. Ratchet Amner, champion at welterweight. Ratchet Amner, champion at super welterweight. So he's had all the major titles in Thailand. A lot of fights, a lot of experience. But he's going to be giving away quite a bit of weight today. Find 81 kilograms at a fought. And facing Jeffrey this evening, his opponent in the red corner from Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the ring, Nampon PK Muay Thai Jim. So we're going to see, I remember Nampon's, I actually remember Liam's fight with Nampon. It was quite a few years ago, Liam, seven years ago. Yeah, six, about six years ago now. Oh my goodness, time doesn't half fly, ladies and gentlemen. It goes really, really quickly by. But we're going to see if Nampon can put the shots together. And like you said, Liam, it is a big weight for him. Yeah, I think just last month he fought against uh, Cosmo Alexander. Oh, he put 72 kilograms. And this one's 81, so a bit of a big jumping weight. Cosmo Alexander, very good fighter indeed. Mixed it with some of the best. And the former, it's Showtime World Champion. Years ago, former WMC champion as well. Some good fights with Yogson Clay, another good fighter. So, it was a, a, good, a good fight for Namp on that up of that way. So, we're going to see if you just joined us here on Yoko. I'm Billy Shawman, and this is Yoko 5. And we are bringing you the very best coming up later on. He's the proverbial king of Muay Thai, Sanchai. Sanchai Muay Thai Jim versus a nemesis of his of his own, Singdam Kyat Munai. That's coming up later on. And also we got Sinsamot Saw Klimni. We got some really big names, Ekapop Saw Klimni, and this is going to be a sparkler. So we're just going to see as they get through the runway, a ritual dance of prayer. It's a steeped in tradition, the history of Muay Thai. Liam, what is it like when you when you do Ramu? Do you find that you're getting in a better frame of mind or do you prefer just getting the monk on off and getting in there and doing the business? Uh, no, I like, I like doing the, the ritual dance. It gives you a little feel for the ring, a little feel for the crowd. Um, get a good look at your surroundings as well. Just relax and just get used to being in the ring. Also, showing respect to your trainers, family and uh, everything as well. I think it's a, a good, nice tradition to keep in the sport. And you see uh, Nampon beautifully displaying it here. What's the advantages of training in Thailand? What, what what do you feel that the advantages are? Obviously, with not people mostly having full-time jobs, is that, is that the main thing or is it the experience? Exactly, yeah, that is the main thing, obviously, the the experience of the coaches. Over here, uh, Jimmy might have two coaches, maybe three. Over here, you're like, in Thailand, you're going to have six, seven top, top pad men at a, a top gym. Maybe up to almost 10 trainers, you're going to have all the other experienced fighters around you. Um, you'll be up in the morning running and training, and back in the afternoon for like two to three hour sessions. Doing this five, six days a week, every day, it just becomes second nature. So you, so when, you, when you're not training in Thailand, do you carry on the tradition? Do you still get up early in England, go running? Obviously, you've got the weather, you've not got the weather and all that sort of thing, but is that what you do, the same routine? Uh, no, my, my routine's a little bit different in England. I don't have the, the training sessions in the morning in Thailand at the gyms. Most of them are from 7 till 9, so you'll be running at 6 or 7 and doing the morning session at 7 o'clock. Uh, over here, my training now, I'll do it about 10 o'clock. I don't have to get out of bed at that silly o'clock over here. So I'll do my training in the morning around 10, 11. I train in the evening around 5 till half 7, 8 o'clock at night. In Thailand, you'll be starting the afternoon session. Usually in most gyms around 3 in the afternoon. Um, but it's most hot as well, very so you, hot at so that you, time. So do you condense your training more when you're in England than you do in Thailand? Yeah, yeah. Because you've got more time to spread it out? Yeah, without doubt. And you're on a, a, a set routine in Thailand at most of gyms. Seven till nine and three till six is what you'll get at right. most gyms. And as I said, Nampon, 
He can fight both Santi's Orthodox or Southpaw, and he's opting for Southpaw today. He's started on Southpaw already. He does look fleshy though, Liam, doesn't he? So he is up at a high weight that he's not normally used to. Yeah, he's, he's obviously not had to put any weight off. Uh, last month, fighting at 72 kilos, this fight, fighting 81, it's almost had to probably have to put a lot of weight on just to get up to this weight. And he lost on points against Cosmo, did he? Yeah, he lost on points. I haven't seen the fight, but it was a, a very close ball for fight. A tip for tap, push kicks already. Going on. Nice body kick from uh, Georgie Rivera there. I'm sorry, Jeffrey. Georgie Jeffrey Rivera. Very elaborate step knee. Uh, Georgie. Sharp knee to the leg there from Nampon. The top of the fire. Yeah, it looked hurt. nasty that one, yeah. yeah. It did. Nice left kick from Nampon. He's very dangerous about a left kick. Good timing. Just lifts it up, no, no back lift at all, just lifts up. Left up in a right hand with a step knee. Again, from there's a nice elbow to the side of the head. And Nampon, the reverse elbow again. Good sneak elbow over the top, Liam. Yeah, I think he's he caused the cut there. Yeah, oh, but another so. one. I think he has. Yeah, he has his cut already. That's a, that Jeffrey that is a very, very a nasty cut. Nasty cut, that one. Oh, and a jumping elbow there from Nampon. He got some I tell you, real he's not height playing, on that one. No. He's not playing. He's trying to get Georgie out of there early. It's good. It's good. This is what the crowd want to see. They don't want to see people coming up and the game of play school. They want to see a real fight. And Nampon, obviously, he's here to fight. Wanted some devastating elbows early doors. And he's looking for it again. Beautiful spinning elbow. Really nice. He faked, didn't he, as well? Yeah. And again, another big elbow. He's really going for this. He's tying Jeffrey's hands up in the clinch. And looking to, to bang them elbows in. And another one uppercut really elbow there. Really nice Beautiful. elbow there. And on the way down, just for one for good measure. It's time for some boxing. George A trying to get into the clinch and stop himself getting cut to get through the round. Got some nice elbows here, isn't it, from Nampon already? Jeffrey's just lost his gum shield there. That's a, that's a very nasty cut. Into the side of the eye. And it's an international contingent, really, in the crowd here. Not just Thai people, but obviously uh, a lot of foreigners come to watch this superb Yokao show here. He's gaining confidence now, Anthony Nampon just teasing his way towards George. Another elbow just misses. He's on fire at the moment, isn't he? Is. He's not come to play around. He is looking for the kill. He's up with a nasty cut already, and another banging another elbow into the side of his head. Definitely not come to play around. Big round for Nampon. Cuts galore. They're going to have to do, really do the work on that one because Nampon's not going to leave that alone, is he? No, and I think we can just expect more of the same from him in this next round. He's gained confidence in the fact that round went on. And I think um, he'll be looking for the finish again this round. Well, there you go. So. Round two coming up, and already really a runaway performance so far by Nampon. Just scoring with the elbow, causing a cut on the side of the head of Jeffrey. As we see here in the replay, that beautiful left elbow there. that came into the clinch. And I think he dodges this one and comes back with a right elbow there. That's the one, I think that's the one that's cut in there. Just, uh, before that. They've done a good job there though, haven't they? They've uh, done a very, very good job up the corner. It's lucky, really. The blood's streaming just down the side of his face. It's not quite going into his eye. I think yeah. another few centimetres to the left, it could have been could have been over because the blood would have been straight into the eye. And it always if it impairs the vision in uh, in in the sport, then they do they do tend to stop it. But it hasn't, as Liam said, justifiably so. It was a few centimetres, maybe an inch across the other way, and it would have been a stoppage. So it's round right two. Two then. George has got it all to do, and the clinch is not the best place to be. Not for him. No, um, Nampon's got it. He's inside, getting tying Jeffrey's hands up and getting them elbows in when they're in close. So, a nice left kick there. Yeah, Jeffrey really going to have to try getting himself back in this round, land some high scoring techniques or some solid punching and getting maybe a count. 
but if he does start opening up with punches, he's going to become susceptible to the elbow as well, so... He's got to start maybe trying to kick Nampon, which is very, very dope. That's a spinning kick, a good push kick back from Nampon. Just nods, bangs his gloves together, Nampon. It's like a smart fight, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful scoring left kick there. almost waiting now, aren't you, for an elbow from Nampon, some sort of... Yep, there we go, there nice. it is. Really nice. The defensive goal from in there as well. Sneak up down, <laughs> down the middle. Cleverly thrown. I want to get involved now, Nampon. They can just wait for George A to come forward and score with his own elbows. Looking for the elbow again, just missing that time though. Two nice knees from Rivera's coming in as well. Of course, holding up well. Surprised not really seeing that Nampon use the jab to the eye of Jorge. Just a bit of in there, hands down. You just get mesmerised, can't you, sometimes just by watching the battle plan of what... It's all about Nampon, isn't it, at the moment? Yeah, well, that Nampon, he's, he's established his lead. Um, he's opened up a cut, he's still scoring the points there, he's just protecting the lead now with the, the push kick. He doesn't have to go crazy, he knows that. Especially fighting at this high weight as well. Yeah, One mistake. Exactly. He, he, he can't take risks, really. He says he can't take risks, he's fighting the whole round with his hands down, almost a beautiful elbow there. You know we've been calling him George, his name's Jeffrey. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. The bold one. Anyway, <laughs> now Jeffrey just seems to really, when, when Nampon comes forward, he always closes his eyes, Liam, as well. Yeah, it does. It takes their beautiful shot again from Nampon. Good, good countering with them elbows. Well, another big round for Nampon. Yeah, really yeah, head head going going you can imagine to see him. Just on the back foot a bit in the third round, protect that lead, protect the points win. Uh, Jeffrey Rivera is going to have to really come out all the guns played in the last round, at least it leaves it and knock down to get anything out of this. Well, if you've just joined us here on Yokao number five, I'm Billy Shawman and I am privileged to sit next to the very young man, the hitman, three time world champion, or the four time world champion. Liam the Hitman Harry said, and we've got to, his old nemesis in front, Nampon, doing a very, very good job against Jeffrey Rivera. Yeah, he's uh, clearly ahead going into this last round, opening a nasty cut on Rivera's head as well. Um, Harry said, Jeffrey's going to have to come out and all guns blazing this round. He's like, he needs at least a knockdown to get anything in this fight, really. That's a really bad job on that cut, isn't it? That is a really bad job. Yeah, the, 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 they're and putting the Vaseline in the, lock, the wrong place by the looks of it. They're pushing it the wrong way. Rounds. Really? Oh, come on now, fellas. Here we go in the last round. Nampon, two rounds up. Round three. We might see him on the back foot just protecting that lead. Yeah. not the best idea though is it for Jeffrey to, to get close with the clinch really that's what he got caught no he doesn't want to be clinching now he wants to be letting some, some bombs go over his hands he needs a, a knockdown at least to get anything from this he's lost two clear rounds so if I were his corner I'd have told him to come out all guns blazing let some big power shots go use his weight advantage use his beautiful push kick to the face there from Nampon Nampon's enjoying himself now isn't he yeah he knows he's, he's clearly clearly in front Took his legs off in there, couldn't he, Nampon? Yeah, yeah, I think he's now starting to play. Yeah, Nampon. he's just playing. Now he knows he's, he knows he's up. He doesn't want to really do what too stupid to protect that lead. Oh, there, there's big, a big good shot. shot there from, from Jeffrey. A good right hand that, round the side. That's he's, what he needs more of that. He needs to really. He should have done that, shouldn't he, in rounds one and two, really? 
Yeah, but I think he was a bit a bit gun shy in round one. Was a bit worried to let them punch go just because of the elbows that were coming in. But the last round, he just needs to go go for broke now. More punches go like that. I don't know why he stopped. Had some success then. Them shots clearly hurt Nampon. Body kick and a kick underneath there by Jeffrey. But still needs to come forward and throw them big shots. Some couple of right hands he landed earlier in the round was good. And he needs to go for, go for broke really because he is handily behind. Tying him up. Just trying to protect that lead in the last closing seconds. But he's, uh, he's done well, man. Plan just to use his movement, the elbows in the first round. As you rightly said, Lee, in the left kick. Sneakily gets into the clinch there by going underneath the guard. Yeah, just wasting a few, a few more seconds, letting the clock run down a little bit longer. Find a little bit more time. Nice head movement. From really nice, well, yeah. Uh, He's enjoying himself now, isn't he? Yeah. That's better work from Jeffrey. That's what he has to do. Yeah. Then big shots, trying to get a knockdown at least. With the clock's ticking down now, not long left for him. I'm just holding on. But the dying seconds. Scoring, using the movement and handily outscoring Jeffrey to be fair. It's a more of a display of the skills of Nampon, really, isn't it? Yeah, well, he's here. Uh, the first round he went all out with the elbows, caused some real damage, up and a few nasty cuts. Second round, took the foot off the gas a little bit, and then the third round just protected his lead, and he's just coasted to a clear victory there. Yeah, fair play to him. So, Liam Harrison's old nemesis, Nampon, PK Muay Thai Jim, we believe uh, handily won that one against Jeffrey Rivera. We'll see what the judge's decision is. And now, ladies and gentlemen, your winner in the red corner, Nampon. Well, there you go, Lee. You couldn't argue with that, could you? Jim. No, pr pretty clear cut there. And you appreciate what you had to do. Elbows Jeffrey in the first Rivieri. round, some nice scoring left kicks as well. Uh, pretty clear win for Nampon. Fair play to Jeffrey. He did try to put the pressure on that last round, but just a bit too little, too late. Yep.